Hey golf people, I've got something really fun for us to take a look at, the Bushnell Wingman. This is a portable Bluetooth speaker that will also serve as a GPS distance device for you out on course. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this little guy today. We're gonna open it, I'll take you through the feature set, we'll go through the menus and the app, then we're gonna take it out on course and see how it performs, not only as a Bluetooth music player, but as a GPS device. Let's do it. Bam, new box just came in from playbetter.com where I get all my golf gear. We've got something pretty cool inside, something I've never tried out. I've never had anything like this, in fact. First of all, question for all of you watching this. Are you someone who listens to music out on the golf course? I found more and more over the years here at my own club that people are listening to music in their carts. And this here, inside this box is a device to do that. So let's open it up and check out what's inside. Ta-da! Bam. All right, we got some paper. We've got what looks to be a little carrying case. And this is why I like to get my gear from playbetter.com. They really think of all the cool accessories that you're going to need in order to get the most out of your devices. If you buy their bundles, which hardly cost anything at all to upgrade, they come with things like this nice padded case. You're gonna buy a really nice golf purchase you want to keep it looking good and looking new and protected from the elements this has a drawstring to close it so this looks like easy in and out for the device that we're about to open up right now the bushnell wingman there it is first i've actually seen this in person i mean i've i've seen like advertisements for it online the first i've seen it in person i can tell you right off the bat there is a lot of girth with this one. Uh, it's heavy in hand uh, and it looks like a really nice carryable size. Okay, so let's just quickly take a look outside the box. Here's what I do know about the Bushnell Wingman because I did a little research before getting this item. It literally has a magnetic attachment to the cart. So you're, we're going to grab this thing, we're going to plant it right on the cart and it's gonna attach via like a magnetic mount. This sound quality is supposed to be really good. Now, I wouldn't call myself an audiophile, but I did minor in audio technology in college and I listened to quite a bit of music and uh, I know good sound when I hear it. So I'll be really interested to see how good this sound is. In fact, I just had like a mobile speaker that I used to bring to the beach that got ruined out in the rain accidentally and uh, I've been looking to replace it. I wanna see if this one is gonna do the trick for me. Now you can hook this up to a mobile app. The Bushnell mobile app will actually provide uh, distances on the app. Of course, you'll have a, a map graphic or an overview of the whole. And the nice thing is those distances can be like automatically spoken through the speaker. So if you pair it up to the app, you've got a little dual functionality there. It's not just for music listening, it'll also give you your distances to probably the front, middle, and back of the green, I would think, or at least the middle of the green. We'll find out when we take this out on course. And as it says right here, it's gonna give you those audible distances when you press a remote. So this has a remote inside, we're gonna check it out. All right, so there you go. It's a speaker and audible GPS. Let's get this thing opened. Just a little tab here. Okay, two tabs off. Let's see if we can just, yep, nice, slide it up. Now, when you've got quality products, you've got quality packaging. If you've watched this show, you've heard me say that before. And um, there is no doubt that Bushnell is a quality company. And if you didn't know that, you'd tell it right from the packaging. So there's your little remote right, right there up top. Nice and small. I assume there's a little battery in there that we'll probably have to replace from time to time, but probably not very often. But that's gonna serve as our remote. Nice little foam padding there. And we'll take that out. I'm gonna put that right there for now. Let's open up the next part of this box. The next part of this box looks like it's going to be some cabling. Okay, it's gonna attach via a little mini USB there. We've also got some instructions inside here. That's our quick start guide. I assume we will not even need that because I can't imagine this is all that difficult to figure out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to here. And I'll slide that there. 
And there we go, there's the wingman inside. Nothing else in the box, just some nice foam padding there. And there it is in hand. Tell you what, it's a really good size. It's convenient. It's like, it looks like it's big enough to have good sound quality, but not too big to be too cumbersome. Now, if you do put this in your golf bag, if you store it in your golf bag, it's gonna add some weight. Ah, gosh, that's gotta be three or four pounds easily. And uh, let's see if this actually attaches here. It does, perfect. So that's how you store your remote. And just like one of those little just like you've got a ball marker, those bigger chip ball markers, you just press here and it, it comes out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we know this is a golf device and they think of things like that. All right, here you've got a really big kind of, you don't want to get these things wet, like I said, or you don't want water to expose the electronics because you're going to have problems. So this is a really big water um, uh, cover rain cover for the little USB port there. That's how you charge this thing. Underneath, you've got a clip that will come out. So again, you could hang this if you wanted to, maybe even from your golf bag. Again, gonna be pretty heavy to do that though. And look at this, this is a giant magnet. So that's where we're gonna attach that thing right to our golf cart. Let's see if it powers up here. Ooh, nice. Very simple, you've got volume adjustments there and you've got a play button. So really simple, intuitive. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download the app now and we'll see if we can get some music playing out of this thing. All right, we're gonna download the Bushnell Golf app here. Here are our nearby golf courses. We've got Meadow, Cypress, Pine, Carrollwood Country Club. Let's go ahead and just click uh, Meadow here. Uh, we'll play from the whites. We have some mixed tees there, but we'll go ahead and play white. And there you go. Carrollwood Country Club, White Tees, Part 36, Hole 1, Part 4, Water Right 1,155 yards, Center 999 yards. Moira, liking it right there. I like the map, nice looking graphics there. Um, ooh, that's very cool. You get like a, a flyover of this hole. This is the hole that's um, closest to where I'm at right now, which is really cool. You do have a bunker there in front. It looks exactly like that, gotta say. That's really cool. Um, shot distance, so it's gonna measure our distance from the last shot. That'd be cool if it does that. Um, we, we, can, we can actually keep score on this app. And we can switch holes that we're playing here. Very simple through there. We can actually look at our scorecard and see how we're doing throughout the round. We've got the wingman settings, which we already looked at. Auto advance means it's gonna to go to the next hole automatically. Auto zoom um, means it's gonna zoom into where you are on the hole. It will have a sleep mode, distance overlay. We can do 2D or 3D. What's 3D? That's interesting. And units, yards, or meters, we'll keep it on yards. I wanna see 3D. I get, oh, that's 3D. So it's it's a little piece of the flyover there, it looks like. Because if I go back to 2D, it's just a flat top map. So that's the difference there, 2D, 3D. This is super cool. I wanna take this out on course now. We're gonna see how this magnet works. Uh, we're gonna see if those distances are actually good. How good is the music quality? We're gonna test all that out on course right now. Now a feature of this Bushnell that I really like here is if you're taking a cart, I'm not today, but if you're taking a cart, you've got this massive magnet right here that makes it so easy to stick right there on your golf cart. It's got a nice firm seal that's not going anywhere. Gotta say, I'm super impressed so far with the quality of the music coming out of this thing. The sound quality coming out is really nice. It has nice bass, it's not too overpowering, it's not too muddy. It's got a nice balanced sound to it. It sounds really good. I had this in my house. I was playing some music. It sounded just as good as my stereo. So whatever they've got in here is pretty darn good, guys. So we're gonna play a little music out here. We're going to take it out, see how the yardages are, see how loud it is. I'll be walking, so this thing's gonna be kind of close to me, but I wanna see, hey, if you're, you know, maybe your cart path only, will this actually work? Will you actually know how far you are to the green, to the hole, super important. So we'll fire up the app now and we're gonna test this thing out. Okay, we're gonna push the button here. Hole one, 
par 4. Center 354 yards. Water right 270 yards. So what's nice is you push this button once, it tells you how far it is to the center of the green, and it gives you, from, at least from the back tees here, a little overview of what hazards you have out in front of you, so you know what to do on your tee shot. Pretty cool so far. All right, good start there. We'll take that. It's not exactly where I wanted to be, probably in the rough on the left, but we're safe. We are in the rough. I'd say I've got about 115 by eye. Let's see what the Bushnell says. Hole one, par four. Center 121 yards. Front 104, back 137. Water right 63 yards. I'd say it's dead on because that's definitely a front pin. So by eye, I said 115, that was really close. I do think the Bushnell Wingman is probably for the casual golfer, someone who doesn't really care about pinpoint accuracy, just wants to have a good time out on the course, wants to enjoy life, wants to enjoy his round, and he wants to know about where he's at. Distance seemed right on there. Now this is a big wide green, which is why I still got a long putt, but the distance was right on. Might have been more of a middle pin. By eye, it looked like it was front, more middle, but pretty happy so far with what I saw there out of the bush now. Ooh, not bad, settle, settle. There's a big hill there. Whoa, okay. A little longer coming back than I wanted. Love those testy three-footers first thing in the morning, right? I pulled it. So you can keep score on this app. Let me show you that feature. Here on number one, unfortunately, we had a bogey. Nice little three-putt bogey, but we did hit the fairway. It was three putts, and we did hit the green in regulation. Let's see what Bushnell says here. Hole three, par three, center 149 yards, front 133. Back 167. Okay, we're gonna go right at it. It's hole in one time. Oh gosh, that looks really good. Be the club. All right, we got a birdie putt. These distances so far, dead on from what I can see. Here's my ball mark, only about two yards long. I'd say that distance is really good. And after that bogey, we are due to make a birdie. Be nice. Come on. Turn, baby. Oh, it didn't turn. All right, I can't complain with tap-in pars. You'll never hear me complaining about that. If you give yourself an opportunity to do it, that's all you can ask for sometimes. Okay, the cool four. thing. Par four, center 421 yards. Water left 262 yards. Water right 344. So literally as I walk up here, up to the tee box, it's giving me that data. It knows where I'm at based on where my phone is. So we always talk about music on the golf course, but why not podcasts? And this is a good time for me to plug my new podcast, the Let's Play Through Golf Travel Show. We just launched the Australian series, our host, Leighton Walker is from Adelaide. I'm gonna leave some links down there to the podcast, but we'll play that because that's my stuff and it's not gonna give us a copyright strike and yeah, it's gonna work better. Oh yes, gosh, that is perfect position right there. Took all the trouble out of play. From the sea. Hole four, par four. Center 167 yards. Front 147, back 187. Water left 28 yards, water right 88. Thank you. Perfect. But after a drive that sweet, we get to go seven iron, which is nice. I love that story. Hole looks like to be middle, possibly front. More is better than less here, anyways. So. Ah, oh, it's a pretty good strike. Turnover, come on. Sit. Uh-oh. Might have been too long. <laughs> That'll work, though. 
Get it tight, maybe get it in. It'll be sweet. Uh-oh, settle. Whew. All right, so all in all, really impressed with this Bushnell Wingman. I gotta say, when we started, I did not think I would be, but I really did like it. I'm gonna leave a link below so you can buy this for yourself at playbetter.com. Get the bundle with the case from Playbetter. Highly recommend it. That way you protect your investment. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through. Thank you.